In this video, I'm going to review the Avira Phantom VPN. I'm going to test out the speeds, see which locations it has, and test out any extra features that it has to offer. Now, before I start, I just want to say that I've included a link down in the description for the VPN. And with that link, you'll be able to check the price and you'll get any promotions or offers. So if you're planning on buying, you'll be able to get the best deal possible and the lowest price. So make sure you check that out first and let's get started with the video. Okay, so to start off our Avira Phantom VPN review, I'm going to be doing a speed test. And first, I'm going to test it with my home connection. Then I'm going to connect to the VPN and then I'm going to compare the speeds and see how much speed we actually lose when using the VPN. So to start off, I'm going to hit go and test my home connection. Okay, so the speed test has completed. And as you can see, I've got 681 down, 907 up, and then I've got a ping of two. Now I'm going to connect to the Avira Phantom Pro VPN and I'm just going to connect to the nearest location. So this should give me the fastest server. Now I'm going to refresh speedtest.net and then we're going to run the same test and let's see what speeds we get. Okay, so my speed test result has completed and as you can see, my speeds here are 205 down, 285 up and my ping has only increased to three, which is really good. Um, in terms of these speeds, this is quite slow compared to some other paid VPNs that I've used in the past. Um, 200 is definitely enough for if you want to stream or if you want to do gaming. Um, but again, it could be way quicker. Uh, the ping is only at three, which is really, really good. That's really low. My original ping was only two, so it's increased by one. Uh, usually when I connect to a VPN, this goes up to like 20 to 25. So this is really good to see, and this VPN would be very good for gaming. So next I want to look at the locations that Avira VPN offers, and this has to be a weak point in my opinion for this VPN. They just don't seem to offer much at all. I mean, they have a few servers here, and they cover most of Europe, but uh, in terms of locations, they just don't have that many compared to other VPN providers. So it's definitely something they can improve. Something I do like is they do show the ping next to each server, uh, which is a pretty cool feature. So you know whether a server is going to be quick or whether it's going to be slow uh, just by looking at the ping on the right hand side. So now I want to break down some extra features that you get with the Avira Phantom Pro VPN. And this is very basic, again, compared to other VPN services. They do offer the bare bones, such as a kill switch, which is if your home connection drops and you reconnect to the internet, then first it will tunnel you through the VPN uh, before connecting you to the outside world. It stops any data leaks, IP leaks, and uh, keeps your privacy uh, secure. Next, they have uh, block malicious sites and content, so you can choose to block certain sites. And then just a launch at system start, which will basically start up the VPN when your computer starts. They also have an auto connect for certain Wi-Fi networks. So let's say every time you go to Starbucks, you want to use the VPN uh, because it's not a secure network, then you can add it to the list of Wi-Fi hotspots. And then every time you connect to Starbucks, it will automatically connect to the VPN. So now I want to answer some frequently asked questions when it comes to the Avira Phantom Pro VPN. And the first question is, can I use it for torrenting? And the answer is yes, the speeds when torrenting with this VPN have been consistent. There's no data leaks or any other issues, and it's perfectly fine to use with any of their servers uh, when you're torrenting. So the next question is, can I use the VPN for Netflix to access geoblock content and other stuff? And the answer is no, this VPN does not work with Netflix. Whenever I visit their website, I just get blocked. So I'm assuming that nearly all of their servers are blocked uh, from Netflix. And I wouldn't recommend this VPN if you're trying to access some geoblocked content. So the next question is, does Avara VPN store logs? And for this, they do store some logs. They track whether you're a free or paid user, and they also track uh, how much data you consume. So whilst they claim they don't store any logs, as in they don't store what websites you might visit, they do store some basic information about you. Um, but you can actually toggle off the sending diagnostic data inside the VPN software to reduce the amount of data that they log about you. So the next question is, is Avira VPN safe? And the answer is yes. They use AES 256-bit encryption, which is one of the best encryption methods to use for a VPN. So they are perfectly safe to use and you shouldn't have any worries. So for the final question is, is Avira VPN free? The answer is yes to an extent. They have a 500 megabytes per month limit on the free version. 
um, whereas the paid version is fully unlimited. They do have a 60 day free trial, which you can get for the Phantom Pro VPN. And that way you can test out with unlimited data and all of the extra features. So I'd recommend trying that out first. So that sums up the video. I hope you enjoyed. As I said at the start of the video, I've included a link down in the description for the VPN, and this will give you the best price possible. And I'll make sure to include any coupons or discount codes that I find. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and make sure that you leave a like on the video.